Well, while President Trump uh, held those talks with the Prime Minister, their spouses met veterans and school children. Melania Trump visited Chelsea pensioners at the Royal Hospital in Chelsea, accompanied by Philip May. And Rebecca Williams has this report on what the First Lady did today. It's not every day that you see the First Lady take to the bowling green, but despite the stiletto heels, she managed it in good spirits. Here at the Royal Hospital Chelsea, a home for retired veterans, today she made quite an impression. So did you have to polish your shoes? Well, of course we did. We're soldiers. We're we, just, soldiers. we just put this on and we finished. <laughs> well, I think it's probably good that she's come to look at the heritage of where we live, because they haven't got much heritage in America, and we do it work very well. As well as meeting pensioners, younger visitors showed the First Lady how to make Remembrance Day poppies. She had a go herself, later seeking reassurance from the Prime Minister's husband, who'd accompanied her for the morning. They are quite sort of divergent in terms of their appearance on camera. But there is a functional effect that is positive for both sides in the sense that actually a lot of the media reporting of President Trump and Theresa May is drawing out some of these contrasts between them. And so having a positive contrast between Philip May and Melania Trump actually serves to help that secondary, that presidential prime minister relationship a little bit in terms of at least the media reporting. The Royal Hospital Chelsea was founded by Charles II in 1682 as a retirement home for soldiers. And for Mrs. Trump and Mr. May, it today made for a far more relaxed setting than their spouses had at Chequers. It's no surprise that this location was chosen as one of the venues of this visit. Not only is the building itself designed by one of England's most celebrated architects, but the focus here is all about the British Army, where, of course, a special relationship was cemented between the US and the UK during the Second World War. It was a whistle-stop tour of the Royal Hospital, and with Union Jacks at the ready, the next stop for Mrs Trump was off to see the Queen. Rebecca Williams, Sky News.